that uh, I have, the organization that I have here. So I come here and I create a new project, a brand new project uh, that will contain the codes that I'm going to deploy to that environment I just created. Uh, let's call it our class app project. Our class app project. We can give a description. All right. So private project. Um, you want to take, uh, of course, it's always JIT and then Chrome here. All right. And then you say create this project. So now we have a project. So who and who is going to be part of this project? Uh, so we'll go to project settings, and then we can add members to the team, all right? Well, before then, let me, let me take it. So add, Let me go to, okay. So to add somebody to this project, to add Mr. Adelada to this project, for example. So I'll first of all go to, let's go one step back and then go to organization asset. Then I'll say users. And then I would, uh, I would invite user. Uh, that's the place where I should invite you. Okay, let's keep this for later so that we don't digress. So I'll, I'll come back to this part of uh, our job, but let me come back to that. All right, so for now, let's go on with the, the project. So I come here, I click my project, and this is the project. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So I can invite somebody to the project. But like I said, like I said let's come back there. So the first thing we want to do with project is go to repo. So we go to repository. And then which repo are we deploying? Where's our, where's the code that the developers have written that as the DevOps person we are taking? The code that we are pulling to build pipeline around and deploy to that environment. Our code is in GTO. All right, so what do we do from here? So clone to this computer, clone in VS Code. We want to import our repository from GitHub. So we say import, and then we'll come to, let's go to GitHub. Okay, so I have a, different repositories here for different projects, but the particular project I'll be building here is, uh, is this project. Is the project I'll be building. So remember how to clone. So I take that path and I come here and I click that. All right, to so import my repository from here. Right. So my Repo is being imported from GitHub into Azure, Azure Repo. If I go back to Repo now, I'm going to see that I now have that Repo resting within Azure. So this is my Azure Repo, all right? So that is fine. So now I have my Repo. What's the next thing I want to do? The next thing I want to do is uh, build my pipeline. So I go to pipelines for now. At some advanced level, we can talk about pull requests. And but for now, let's go to pipeline. And then I create my pipeline. Where is my code? My code is not in GitHub. It's not anywhere else. It's already been imported into a jaw repo. So I click that, and the name of the code is there. All right? What about my pipelines? Am I going to create fresh pipeline using this method, or how am I going to get my pipeline? So I'm going to see. My pipeline is already written by my developers and it's already available in code. Mostly Azure pipeline code. So where is this code? All right. Uh, so this code will be found here. This one will come up by saying just 
So this is my code. This is my code. Got it? This is the code. This is my pipeline that is part of the complete set of codes written by the developer that I want to build for. Build and deploy to. Right. And then, of course, also in the notes, we have a, we'll be taking a break to pass on what time I, my eyes are really hot. All right. So, we just, I have this uh, version of the code, which for me is more reliable because it is in the notes. So, I just copy this. To you, it may look the same, but let me go. Use this control C. And then, let me see what it looks like in notes. Add control V. Okay, so control A, control C. So I have my codes now. Uh, the, I thought I should consign the same thing. Okay, so this is my code. All right. So I don't want to run this code yet. Let me just save it. All right. Before I run my pipeline, let me just look around and set one or two. The next thing I want to do is, uh, uh, let's go to the project. And then at the project level, there's something I'm forgetting. Let's look at the overview again. Okay, so we create the project and the repo. Then this is very important. We create a service connection. You know what this does? This will link the DevOps part of the project, um, the Azure DevOps part of the project to the cloud, the infrastructure. We need to create a link, a road that will link them together. So that link is what we call service connection. So let's go and link it now. Let's go and create a service connection to link uh guys just give me let's take a well not really a break just give me one like five seconds to splash water in my eyes my eyes are really hot in spite of me yeah, I mean, yeah, take your time sir yeah one minute. All right, I'm back. Okay, so we're going to create a service connection. Otherwise, there'll be something between these two parts. So let's come back here. And then we'll go to project. And then we'll look for service connection right here. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So service connection is right here. All right, so create new service connection. And then we are going to use Azure Resource Manager, right? That's what we are using to create service connection. And then we'll see service principal automatic. Otherwise, we'll be doing a lot of copying and pasting. So let's just leave the automatic that will do it by itself, right? Use my subscription. Uh, for me to say it's my subscription, I should be able to enter the password here. The item.us. at gmail.com. All right, then, yeah. I have my password. Right. Because I've successfully entered my password,